All right, so I've been making a lot of really fun TikTok videos and Instagram reels. They look like this. This is my little rutabaga, my little ador adorable rutabaga. So I'm gonna show you how to make videos like this of your art. Um, you can add really cool music to it uh, and things like that. Uh, that'll make it really pop and really add some character to it. Uh, I don't have any music playing now because I'll get a copyright strike on YouTube, but uh, you get the point. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. It's really easy and really quick. So let's get started. Okay. So first off, I have my drawing of my ghost here. So this is a finished illustration, uh, but I always keep the sketch. So the sketch is down here. I'm just going to duplicate it because I like to do that to be safe in case I accidentally do something and back out of the project. So now we have our sketch, which is on top of the illustration. I'm just gonna make a new layer in between there. So new layer right in between the background image and the sketch. And I'm just gonna drag in a color. We'll use this color here. So I drag in a color on the new layer. Make sure this looks good. Okay, there we go. So now we have our new layer with a color underneath it. We have our sketch, color layer, and our background underneath. So basically the first thing you wanna do is, I'm just gonna minimize, hide the background, hide the, uh, the color layer. And I'm gonna take my sketch and I'm gonna match it up to uh, the drawing. You may not have to do this if you didn't, if you hadn't resized your art, but um, I can see that I resized my ghost. So I just need to make it smaller and just match it up as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice when it when it matches up uh, pretty closely. Oh, come on. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good match. So now I'm gonna open this layer again and I'm just gonna merge them down. So now everything is on one layer. And I like to use a brush, it's in drawing and it's called Blackburn. Uh, I have it in my faves list. So these are all the brushes that I use all the time. You can download them in the description. But I like to use Blackburn. And oops, go to my eraser and use Blackburn. So we're using the eraser, we're on Blackburn I like to set the size really big and the opacity to 100%. And this is essentially what it does. Just slowly erases away and it has a really nice, this really nice kind of artifacts that I really love. Uh, and, and one tip that I do is I'll usually leave it around this size and I'll start with the eye really slowly and softly so it's not so big. And then I just make it bigger and I kind of go around and then you just do the reveal of your character or whatever it is. And then I kind of just make it bigger so you can see the background. So that's essentially it. That's essentially it. So you have a layer here and you're erasing and just showing the layer underneath. So that's all that is. So I'm gonna show you how I do it with my phone. So I have a Pixel 3, let me just focus this so it you can see the screen better okay so the first thing that I do is I don't usually record in TikTok or Instagram because I don't want to like lose the video so I just use my phone's camera and I go to video and that's how I record them okay so now we can see our little guy here and hopefully it doesn't go out of focus but uh so this is what I do I'll set the art basically about to where I want it on the iPad, and then I'll just hit record on my phone. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer here. Okay, so I just hit record, and usually I'll just I'll just go in really close, and then I'll just basically be looking through my phone camera, and I'll just start erasing, and then I follow. follow along with my phone go nice and around and then eventually I'll back up to kind of reveal everything 
And then I might go in and get some details. Something like that. And then I'll come back up and make it really dramatic. You know, something like that. So now I have my little video on my phone. Where I can play it. I have my dumb voice. And I just start erasing. And then I follow. So that's essentially how I make the videos. So Instagram Reels, really easy. Oops, let me just go back to my home, my home page. If it ever lets me get back to my home page. I just hit the plus on top, real, and then you hit the plus down here, and you can add your video. Uh, and then once it once it loads, so once it loads, then you can add your music. And you can add any little emojis or anything you want to kind of spice it up. Uh, I usually just add music. Uh, it is a bit hard to find uh, good songs sometimes. But the songs really, really make a difference. And if the reel does well and if the, uh, or the TikTok does well. So then you hit the little music button here. And then you have to, you know, you can search through your music. Um, usually I like to match the subject of whatever it is to the music. So since this is a ghost... I would put some sort of like ghostly music or Nightmare Before Christmas or something fun like that that sort of, you know, makes makes sense to be with a ghost. Now, as far as TikTok goes, pretty much the same deal. Open TikTok. You hit the little upload here. And then your video will be here. So you just tap on your video and then you hit next. And pretty much the same as Instagram Reels. You can actually, you can adjust it if you want the length of the video or cut the end off or anything that you want like that. Hit next. And then you add, hit the little sound thing down here and then you have your music. Or you can search for uh, new music and things like that. So it's, it is important to get a good song. And sometimes it does take a while. Posting to social media sometimes can take very, very long time. Too long if you ask me sometimes. But that's the business. So that's pretty much how I make those videos. Uh, they're really, really fun. Uh, make sure you tag me or send send me your videos if you do decide to make any. I would love to see them um, because uh, it's just really fun. And I like spending a lot of time making these cool little videos. Um, but now you know how I do it. So, and also another cool thing that you should do is experiment with a lot of the other erasers. Uh, you can experiment with all different kinds. You know, we have, you know, the kind of slow fade what else we got what else we got uh, you can do something with a, a flat brush so there's a million different obviously there's a there's a ton of different brushes that you can uh, experiment with that's actually kind of cool so I might use this for, I might use that for one uh, we'll see that was what brush is that Where'd it go? Sticks. So anyway, um, experiment with erase brushes because uh, you can get some really, really cool effects. And uh, it doesn't take that long. Pretty simple. Sometimes I have to do the video a couple times, but that's pretty much how I do it. All right, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know what you think and let me know about your TikToks and Instagram Reels. I'd love to see them. All right. Until next time, keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.